Hello and welcome amigos. On today's Taco Tuesday, we are gonna be making some crispy bean and cheese tacos. And I'm gonna make it even easier for you today because I'm gonna show you how to transform your canned pinto beans. So let's get started on warming up some tortillas. You wanna to begin to make your tacos using your corn tortillas, okay? We're gonna warm them up because what we're doing right now is we're taking all that excess moisture out. We're also warming the tortilla up enough to make it pliable for the fold so that it doesn't crack on us, okay? Kind of like when we did the buñuelos that we uh, put them on the pan first and then we fried them, it leaves less oil inside of your, of your tortilla. So keep them on there a good 30 seconds on each side on a medium heat, and I'm gonna continue to warm up the rest of my tortillas while I finish boiling our tomatoes and a jalapeno for a quick and easy salsa for us. Now we're gonna get started on making some super simple but delicious refried beans, okay? And yes, you have to make them fried twice, but I only need to fry them once to make them tasty, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and add our chopped onions. And if you have a serrano or a jalapeno, you can use that. Today I'm using a jalapeno. So make this recipe comfortable for your home. Let's continue to cook our onions and our jalapenos for about two to three minutes. Remember, you don't want them to burn because if you burn, it's gonna give your beans a really nasty flavor. So just medium, medium, low heat, take it easy, stir, and if you see they're burning somewhere, move them around, okay? Once we've cooked our onions and our jalapenos, you're gonna add your desired amount of salt, okay? And start light, because you can always add, you can't take out. I mean, you can take out, but not during these times. <laughs> Give that a quick little mix, and once you've done that, get ready because we're gonna be adding our beans, okay? Did you just blend the beans on their own, with their own juice? I blended the canned beans on their own with no liquid at all. We want this to be, um, we don't want these beans to be runny, we want them to be nice and dry, so that way they don't fall out of our tortillas. Girl, have you ever tried a deep fry uh, uh, bean taco? One time. <laughs> you poor thing. I aborted the mission. Yeah, that's not, just like I taught you guys for the ground beef, those are just for the ground beef or ground proteins, not for beans, okay? Start mixing them around really good. I love how the oil took a little bit of the green tone from the jalapenos. It's nice and infused. Ooh! These frijolitos are gonna be delicious. You know, I had a, uh, when I first started the channel, I had a friend on that I made online here, and she said her daughter didn't like beans, mm -hmm. okay? So I showed her the recipe on how I made the beans, and her daughter started eating them after that. Oh, nice. So I was I'm like, yeah. Most kids, you'll find that they don't like to have their refried beans with like milk or any of that stuff or in cheese, there. Or yeah. cheese, yeah. Yeah, once you remove all that and keep the beans pure, kids tend to like them a bit more. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of uh, kids that don't like the texture of the whole beans, but they can handle the mashed beans, right? So just learn the technique that your children like and accommodate to each and every one of them. So if it means that you have to blend half a can and then keep the rest whole, go for it, mamas. And parents, you got this. Okay, I'm gonna continue to cook these beans on a medium heat for about three to four minutes just until I can get them a little bit drier um, than this because this is really, really creamy still. Now, if you want them that creamy, go for it, but I wanted them a little bit drier than what we got going on. Ooh, they're looking nice and dry. And if you see, I'm just going with my spoon, spreading it around because, listen, if you come back and let me know in the comments that you burn your beans, I'm gonna pull a chancla out on you, okay? With a lot of love, but I'm gonna have to pull that chunk out. Do not burn your beans, that's the worst smell in your house. It's worse than popcorn. <laughs> it is worse than burned popcorn, girl. Ooh, we're looking fresh. But is it worse than that time that my coworker put salmon in the microwave? What? At 10.30 in the morning? No, no. I'll pass, hard pass on that one. I said, hey, everybody likes you in the office, man, but that stunt you pulled today, 
I'm starting not to like you. And he just laughed. And he's like, I'll never, <laughs> he's like, I'll never do that again. I'm like, thanks, man. <laughs> he really wanted salmon. Forget it. That early? Yes. All right, friends. Do you see how they got a lot drier than what they were when we first started? So once you get that consistency, it's still smooth, but they're just not runny. You see how when I lift it, it kind of, you can take the whole bean with you. It's like a paste. There you go. Thanks to Tia Cloud over here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank welcome. you, Doñita. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, friends, we're ready to fill our tortillas with some delicious beans. Let's get started. Place your tortillas on your little cutting board or your workspace. And then I like to use a spatula for this part. And the same thing we did with our ground beef tacos. We're just going to do a little half moon, flip it over. And remember, when you have to stretch the dollar, you can add less beans on here. We have enough calories with this. We're going to be okay. Okay, my cheese lovers. I have some freshly shredded uh, cheddar cheese and a Mexican cheese blend here. Okay? So for those of you that love cheese, add a little bit over the top. Close it out. When it comes to tacos, I do a lot better on a tray. So we're gonna do a row of cheese and our row of regular plain bean. Okay, I'm gonna continue to do this and then I'll meet you guys on the pan for some frying. Place your pan on a medium heat, okay? You're gonna add about three tablespoons of oil. I like to sprinkle some salt, this is optional. And why do I like to place salt here? Because I it, it provides a friction between your pan and the tortilla, and you never know how your pans are gonna behave. And you know what? I've been known to own some really horrible pans. So it's habit, and it's also flavor. <laughs> Once your oil gets nice and hot, you're going to start adding your bean tacos. And we're going to continue to fry them until we get them nice, golden, and that soft crisp that we love. It's going to take you about two to two and a half minutes if you have your heat at a good temperature, a good medium heat. Now it's time to flip them over, but please be careful. Okay. I'm going to continue to cook all of our tacos, so hang tight and enjoy the ride. Remember, I said about two to two and a half minutes on each side. Okay, friends, this is the last batch of my tacos. Let's go ahead and get a delicious tasting because I am excited. I love bean tacos. I love that crisp thing that's gonna form right now on that cheese. <laughs> if that cheese comes out and it pops, let it cook, friends. That little crispy part is a crowd pleaser. <laughs> you can see little cloud all excited over here. Hey. <laughs> I'm a simple woman. Yes, you are. <laughs> It's great for frying because most of my oil sits on that side, so this one doesn't have the oil interfering with that delicious crisp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, on Channel 5 News, can you tell the audience why the oil goes to that side? Because you guys gotta let Grizzly know in the comments what happened to the repair guy. <laughs> let him know, guys. Mama needs this stove top fixed. Grizzly, if you're watching, you know what's up, babe. Sorry. We need some repairs here. <laughs> He's like, girl, you're gonna have to wait longer now. No, it's quite done, so it's just leveling the stove, right? It's just, yeah, it's just leveling, and I have a panic with like certain gas and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, friends, I can't talk over the pan and the plane, so I'll see you shortly. <laughs> Bravo, bravo. I want a slow motion bravo from you guys. Bravissima. Yes, yes, yes. You must be happy, girl. Your Italian came out. I am very happy today. As always, Views Club and my bells, I'm wishing you the best. And if you haven't taken the time to subscribe to our channel, you can do that right now. And if you're interested, you can sprinkle some love with us down in the comments and some thumbs up. And on that one, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios! You can use lettuce or cabbage. Either one will work perfect with this combination. And I paired it with our family's favorite pasta salad. So if you guys are interested in this pasta salad, make sure to look in the description area for a link on how I make that particular recipe. But for us, we're ready to take a taste. Friends, not all tacos are created equal. And for these particular tacos that it's difficult to put things right inside or shove it in there, a lot of times in Mexican culture, we just layer it on the top, whether it's your salsa, your cabbage, your sour cream, and you just take a delicious bite. Mmm. Perfect. Now it's your turn to take the biggest bite you can. You ready? Enjoy, amigos. Buen provecho.